result of what I did with that fire engine red toolbox. I named it the Pretty Ugly Box. So I will turn it and it's sitting on a dolly so you can take a look at the entire box and then I'll explain it to you. I covered the entire box with black scrapbook paper and then I painted it with a uh, black layer of acrylic paint. The reason why I covered it first was so I didn't have to add a few layers of paint. And that saved me time and from wasting uh, materials. Then I used a few pages from the Mariposa collection and I believe that's made by Die Cuts with a View. And I tore it into pieces and glued it on top. Then I used some embellishments that I had laying around and I didn't even sort through my embellishments. I just grabbed a few buttons and other embellishments that I had laying around and I glued them all over. Then I was lucky enough to find a sheet of 36 stamps on clearance for 20 cents and obviously you know I bought them all and I just cut them out and glued them all over. And then I also have um, other items up here too that didn't come from the Mariposa collection that I just had laying around in my stash and I just thought that it would be a great opportunity to use these things that I never use. I just want you to take a look at some of these stamps here because they are awesome. And then obviously I am decoupage the entire box. Now I have this box sitting on a dolly so that's why it's able to uh, spin around this way. I didn't add feet or anything to the bottom because it will be sitting on the floor. So let's talk about what I did with this box. What do you think I'm going to use this box for? Outside of painting it and decoupaging it and adding all of these embellishments and what I like best about this box is some of the embellishments are like popped up like this little tag here, even though it's kind of hard, it's popped up. So it looks like, you know, they're coming off. And then if you look here, this one too is real hard because I put uh, several layers of decoupage on it, but it's awesome. And then I just stamped it with one of my favorite, favorite stamps. And I added you know, once again, some embellishments that I had around and like to this, I added a real uh, paper clip. Okay, so let's talk about what I'm going to use this for. I'm going to show you instead of telling you. Okay, so I'm going to use it to house my wooden stamps. I left the top drawer half empty so in the times that I am uh, in a rush and I need to store something very quickly, I can just kind of pop the top open and throw it down here. And it doesn't have to be in any kind of order anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Then I have additional stamps there. And then down here, I thought it would be good for me to uh, kind of follow these down here. And these are the sheets that I was telling you about. I had to cut them in half so they could fit, but basically, it looks like this. And it's a heavy card stock. It has embossments in it. So this was awesome. And, it, and I got these from actually from AC Moore and they were on clearance for 20 cents. What I did do was uh, I glued the hardware here. I didn't want to remove it. And uh, just so I can kind of pull it without it... Um, falling apart on me and 
and that's it. So here's a final look at what I revamped and recycled on part two. This fire engine red toolbox is now the home for my wooden stamps and has been transformed into the pretty ugly box. <laughs> Stay tuned and coming up next is a preview of part three and the item that I will be either revamping or recycling. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will sub back. You can always find me at www.ostitch.com. You can inbox me if you have questions. And please comment below. I'm interested to see what your thoughts are on what I did with this box and your opinions on it. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. On part three of revamping and recycling week, I will be revamping this three and a half by three and a half piece of corrugated cardstock from a cardboard box, actually. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I do know that it was too much corrugated cardboard box to throw away. This was not from the thrift addiction. This was actually from a box of a piece of furniture that I actually purchased uh, for my son's bedroom. And once we got it out of the box, um, my sons and my husband were ripping the box apart and I was able to salvage this piece of it uh, because all of the other parts were all shredded. So uh, being that it is revamping and recycling week, I thought it was a good idea to add this piece of item into the list of things that I wanted to revamp and recycle. So if any of you have any ideas, please feel free to submit your comments below. And as always, please subscribe and I will sub back. You can always find me at www.ostitch.com where you can find customized and personalized gift baskets. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.